Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank Reaper today on World of Warships console. That's right, we're covering the ROR, ROR Black. This is a, well, Black Friday's edition ship. Um, there's not really much of a difference between, I guess you could say, the original ROR to the ROR Black. But, well, we'll just see if there's anything different change into the stats. So, as I think I have the same captain for it. Yes, I do. Same with this one, the Ara, AL Ara, uh, which is the anime version of it, which maybe we'll throw the anime girl in here, uh, just to give it that little bit more different talking feeling. <laughs> but, the Ara Black, well, is there anything different what you do with it? Well, I put the Steering Gear Mod 1, which is Steering Gear Improvement Chance 20% and Steering Gear Repair Time 20%. Uh, which means better steering. Then the loadout. It gets HE and AP. Standard for most ships at this tier. Uh, it also gets a damage control party. And it gets the special black edition skin. So basically once you get the ship you can take the skin off. And there you go. If you don't worry. I didn't have a chance because the original aura or the AL aura. But survivability hit points is 22,500. Arturi, she gets a 152 mm, uh, 45 Connet naval guns. She gets 14 of these. Firing range is 11.9 kilometers. Reload time is 8.3 seconds, and turning time is 3 36 seconds. HE shell damage is 2,100. Fire, fire setting chance is 10%, and max AP shell damage is 2,781. Then power for the HE. The AA is 76.2 mm liter lander guns. She gets six of these. Hmm, a little bit more than most ships at this tier. Average damage per second, nine. Firing range is three kilometers. Her speed is 19.6 knots. Turning circle radius is 400 meters and rudder shift time 6.4 seconds. The detectability, detectability by her well, range by C is 9.5 kilometers. Detectability by when firing your guns is 11.9 kilometers. And when the ship is on fire, 11.5 kilometers. Detectability by air from aircraft basically is 6 kilometers. And the detectability when you're firing from the air uh, is 9 kilometers. And when the ship is on fire is also 9 kilometers. Granted, detectability range is 2 kilometers and firing in smoke is 4.4 kilometers. Not that bad, but you know, this is not the best sneakiest ship you got. Uh, if you want a sneaky ship, go pray destroyers. Cruisers are usually not your sneaky type of ships, but the ship is pretty good right here. The armor, the bottom uh, is 10 meters thickness. The fore and plating is 6. The fore and deck is 6. The fore and athwart ship is 6. The bottom is 10, the aft end plating is 6 to 9, and the aft end deck is also 6. The cooling tower bottom is 25, cooling tower size is 152 meters thick. So basically the most thickest part you're going to in the ship. The cooling tower top is 51, the side plating is 6, and the top side plating is also 6. The gun sides are 13, which is basically all the gun shields. Um, yeah. The Othward ship is 6, the plating is 9, the deck is 6, and the Othward ship is also 6. The Citadel Othward ship is 25, the Citadel bottom is 10, the Citadel deck is 51, the Citadel Othward ship is 25, the Citadel armor deck sloping is 70, the next best armor. And then the Citadel plating is also 6. So basically saying this ship is pretty tough in a fight. But can she hold her own in a battle? Well, let's go find out. I'll see you guys on the battlefield. See you there, captains. So guys, our very first game on islands. On World of Warships console. And are we top tiered? Yes, we are actually. We are definitely top tiered. I mean, there's three destroyers on their team, and there's three on my team. I actually had to double check to see 
if we were, and yeah, we definitely are top tiered in this game, which is pretty good. Well, I mean, this ship could basically take on other, like, not top tier ships, like, uh, tier 3 ships, uh, which is actually where you start meeting the battleships, which, don't worry, we are going to be meeting battleships pretty soon. Um, after we're done with the Russian fleet, or the last three ships remaining for the Russians I have, along with three of the French, one Italian and one Pan-Asian, we also might do the Europe's, uh, European nations, uh, tier 1 cruiser and tier 2 destroyer, because I do have those two. Uh, they're both completely upgraded, they're both just ready to be played and stuff like that. But... What about the Ara Black? Well, its guns are basically like light cruisers. It's like the USS Dallas up at tier 5. I know you probably, if you're new, you ain't gonna know about that. But you're going, if you're shooting at something like another cruiser, you're going to want to give it pretty much a good distance lead on your target, especially if they're at range. At the destroyer, you see, I'm thinking about it. I do fire three shots. But I wasn't really expecting much of these shots to really do anything or hit. They don't hit. I am spotted. My guns reload quick. That's the good thing about these guns. They are small enough caliber to reload pretty quick. That Frigant is right there. The French cruiser. We do fire. I'm not really sure if that was enough lead to give. Because he is at like around 11.60 some kilometers away. Uh, I do fire. He does go undetected. I am turning because I don't want to go down that side by myself. I do see the St. Louis over there. The door is right there. Not my shot at that guy, so okay. I'll just keep on going up here, helping my team out. I do see the Triano, a Japanese cruiser. And here's the V25. I'm looking. I'm, I don't want to shoot yet. There he is. We fire. Uh, we do crit him, and we do get reset on the cap, which is good. Okay, we are near another teammate, which is the other Aria Black. Um, that destroyer is shooting. I think he gets spotted. Where does he get spotted? What did he get spotted? I wasn't paying attention where he gets spotted. Now I do. I aim. I want to kill this guy because he's going to launch torps. I do set him on fire. The other Aria Black is passing me up. And we do slow down just a little bit so we dodge his torpedoes and we kill the Aria that V25. At first I thought that was the enemy ship right there, but it's not. It's one of my teammates. Right here's the Trin Trinio. Trinio? I think that's the yeah, that's the Japanese cruiser at tier two. We fire him with our first salvo. Sadly the salvo doesn't hit. But he does give a nice big cross side towards my friend there. He's shooting torpedoes. Nice. Puts him on very low hit points. We fire at him. We catch him on fire, he gets taken out by the Smith, a pretty decent American little tank, uh, destroyer. <laughs> I was going to call it a tank destroyer. Oh boy. <laughs> <coughs> and there's actually an AL Aurora. Um, that's a ship that you get, it's the anime version of the Aurora uh, Russian cruiser. We do start firing at the St. Louis because we can see him and he's in sight. And gun range, we do him, we do get a little bit of shots onto him. We fire another several of them. Okay. Right there we only get one, but it's shattered on impact. So we we'll keep on shooting. We want to at least catch the St. Louis on fire. We do catch him on fire. Nice. He's burning nicely here. Now he's starting to shoot at me because he sees me. Okay, we do get more shots directly onto him. That the uh, AL area right there is starting to go against the wreck of a dead ally of one of their ships. We do get more shots onto him, four shots onto him, up to 16,000 damage, not bad. Okay, uh, three more shots actually penetrated. And this guy is basically stuck. It took me a little while to figure it out. That's why I was looking. He is shooting at me, but those shots completely miss. I asked my team to shoot him. I do get a crate on him. And a reset capture points of two. So we are up to three. But now we're up to 19,000. We get a fire cell on him. Another one of those. And we... 
I do hear torpedoes. I was wondering why, and well, that's why. That, well, that ship just rammed me. He did set me on flood, but I put it out because I really don't want to die. Here comes the French cruiser, fired by two forward gun turrets. Oh, not a two forward. I was trying to set my secondaries one to him, but I forgot this is such a low tier that, well, there's no need of that. I am getting hit from this Frenchie. Um, I would, didn't know if I should switch to AP because he's giving me a nice big broadside, but we do crit him. We take out his torpedo tubes. He is hitting me constantly with his main batteries. That destroyer over there, my friend, is, well, basically almost got rammed. I do hit him with two shots. My destroyer friend isn't going after him. I have a damage gun. Oh boy, this looks dodgy. He, my destroyer friend does take out that cruiser. This is the last cruiser. We crit him, but we do get taken out by that Frenchie. But we are up to 31,765 damage. So, not really that bad of a game with the Ara Black. I actually like this ship. Once you learn how far of a lead you need to give your targets, shooting at them becomes a lot more simpler. And if you're playing against battleships, there's a lot more hit points there. So basically meaning at tier 3 you're going to be seeing a lot of different battleships that's a little more slower than what you expect. Um, meaning you could actually hit them a lot more easier and actually do a lot more damage and stuff. But that Freyant French cruiser is taking a banging and we still have like two destroyers left, two cruisers left. I don't think he's going to last to the whole freaking game. Uh, well, not the whole game, but the remaining parts. Our destroyer does launch torpedoes at him. Hopefully that destroyer doesn't get himself killed. I don't think these torpedoes are going to hit. They look good, but nope, they don't. I don't, wait, are they? Nope. He completely misses those torpedoes. But he does gain hit from destroyers, uh, cruisers, and he actually beats himself. Yeah, well, ain't that something. Now he's going in reverse, uh, which means he's a slower target. That means that destroyer right there is launching torpedoes. These look good. I mean, I could be wrong. They might not be the best idea to launch him, but that's how he will die. I'm looking at these torpedoes, I was thinking, uh, is these going to be good? The first wave, I think, oh, wait, he dodges that torpedo, but there's two more coming, right there they are, and boom, he gets killed, eliminated by that destroyer, and we won the game, guys. And, by good fashion, we came third on our team. So, but I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.